Hello, this is Jeff Hobbs with Source AV. Today we're going to show you guys how to use your TVR with Internet Explorer. First, we're going to launch Internet Explorer. We're going to go up to the address bar. We're going to enter in the unit, in this case, 192.168.10.64. Click Enter. You'll see we'll be prompted for our username and password. Simply go down, enter in our username, in this case admin, and the password 12345. Once we've successfully logged in, you'll see we're presented with various options on the screen. On the left hand side we have our unit name, along with several associated cameras. In the middle we have our view panes, and in the bottom we have several options for changing those views. We also have the ability to capture a still frame and record live video. On the right we have our PTZ functions and across the top various options that we can configure our units with. What we're going to want to do is go over and select one of the panes. As we click around you can see that one of them becomes green and is the active pane. Select the pane we wish to populate, go over to our tree and double click on the camera. As you can see we can then fill the rest of the screens. If we wish to change the view, we can simply go down and change to a single camera view. To navigate through those cameras, we can use the up and down arrows. Now if we'd like to make a still shot capture, we can select the screen, make it active, and then select the capture button. You'll see that it will populate into a folder with the JPEG image. Like that. There's some other options that we had before. You know, if we want to do a live video, simply select the screen and click the record button. This is going to store it on the computer, on the local hard drive, in an MP4 format. We now recorded it. Simply click Stop, and we'll check the folder and we'll see that it's now populated. File name being the IP address of our unit, the camera number, and then date. And there's our options for capturing video. If you wanted to, we could also click the talk button. If our setup was, we could communicate with our TVR. On the right, again, there's some PCTZ contr PTZ controls. Select those and we'll give us some options to move our PTZ cameras if that was the case. And that's how you view your TVR. Additionally, there are some other options in the bottom that we can change the contrast, the brightness, and several other options.